Hi everybody, Steph here and today what we've got for you is a lovely Schaefer fountain pen as it says on the box, comes in this lovely red quite a large box with this little tab to the end here and if you pull it out it comes out in this lovely it's like a little drawer if you like and what we have for you here today is a gorgeous Schaefer Legacy 2 fountain pen first of all let's remove the outer case here now let's just take the pen out of the case first of all pop that down to one side and what we've got inside is a little polishing cloth to polish the cloth um, this little plastic tag which I'm not really sure what it what it's actually for and then if we lift the the top cover there you can see it comes with the Schaefer Legacy instruction manual inside there and last but not least a nice little touch with this particular pen if we just lift this little section out here what you actually get is this this lovely little pen stand with Schaefer Legacy to the front, Schaefer Legacy 2, the little white dots and if we show you how to use it, there we go, doesn't that look very nice? Okay so this pen comes with a nice little Schaefer pen stand which incidentally if we pop it, well what we'll do, we'll just pop that to one side, we won't package it all back so let's bring on the pen again here So. Here we have it, an absolutely stunning Schaefer Legacy 2 fountain pen. This particular one, the model is the M860. The pen is made in the USA. Now, the Schaefer Legacy pens are actually, well, they're based on the vintage um, PFMs or the Pen for Men fountain pens. But the Legacy range, I believe they, they brought them out, I don't know, in a region of about 1995. They went through to 2000 and, well, 2000 whatever. This particular pen, I date in a region of 1999. The Schaefer Legacy pens, they came in lots of different colours. They came in plastic, different colours if you like. They came in these metal finishes. Um, they, they came in silvers and golds etc etc this particular one is what they term well it's actually a 23 carat brushed gold electroplated it's a lovely finish I'm hoping you can actually see by the picture there I'll keep it nice and close for you sorry and nice and still as well and as I say, this particular one, the Legacy 2, when this one was launched in 1999, they brought out three different ranges, if you like. Um, they brought out what they termed as a trendsetters uh, range. They brought out a uh, perspectives range. And they brought out, well, where this particular pen belongs, what they term as a traditions um, range so this particular pen comes from the traditions range now the size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel is approximately um, 138 millimeters capped around the diameter there it's quite a nice chunky pen around the diameter of the barrel it's approximately 12.5 millimeters in diameter as I say it comes in this lovely brushed um, chrome, uh, sorry, brushed tw uh, 23 carat gold electroplated finish, and if we take you up to the to the top of the to the cap there, you can see it's got a 23 carat um, gold plated clip to the top there. We can see the very recognisable white dot, and if we just show you the clip to the top there, you can see it says Schaefer to one side. And if we turn it over, it may be upside down, but to the back there you can see it says USA just to the clip there if we also show you the clip there you can see it says Schaefer and if we twirl it around slightly you can see it says USA just to the right and if we just take it round um, this quite a large cap band is blank but all in all a very very nice finish to this particular pen now as I say these pens were based 
on the pen for men's, the vintage pen for men's, but these particular pens, if we actually just take the cap off, which just simply clicks into place. Now, let's show you the the pen at different angles. Absolutely lovely, lovely pen. Although saying that, I'm sorry, but I do prefer the vintage PFM pens personally. But saying that, these particular pens have their own fan base anyway. Absolutely lovely. So let's put the cap down there and show you the, the section there. You can see the nib is this inlaid nib. And if we try and give you a good a good close-up of it, hopefully you can actually see it says 18 karat gold and with 750 just to the other side. There we go. Okay. So it's a lovely inlaid nib. If we turn it over, you can see it's got the um, standard Schaefer legacy feed to the back there. And again, you can see the black section there tapers nicely to, to the nib. Again, lovely, lovely example. These particular pens, or this particular one if you like, comes in two filling mechanisms or two filling systems. It's, it's fitted with what we term as a converter but it will also take Schaefer cartridges as well. Now if we take the section off like so what you'll notice inside, there you go, there's the converter and I'm hoping you can actually see even the converter there is actually gold plated as well okay so let's give you a little angle so you've got a gold plated converter in this particular pen as it says as i said it will actually accept these particular pens will take the Schaefer cartridges as well now again based on the pfm the vintage pens this particular pen has what they term as a touchdown filling system which means that we simply unscrew the cap the blind cap to the bottom there pull out this particular tube there now unfortunately I'm not going to fill this particular pen because as far as I'm aware it's never been inked but how you would actually fill it it's slightly different from the vintage i.e. the vintage PFM's had a little snorkel coming out of the the feed to the bottom there but these these new models do not have it as I say it's what they term as this touchdown filling system what you'd simply do is dip the nib in the ink and what you would do is simply I don't know if you could actually hear that there was a slight hissing sound and I'll try it again you just simply push down on the top there and if you had this particular sort of the nib in the ink it would actually fill up Schaefer actually recommend that these particular pens will actually, you need to press this down twice to get a good fill on these particular pens. The old vintage PFMs, just one simple press would fill the pen up. But because it's slightly different or a modern design, if you like, with these particular filling systems, um, as I say, Schaefer recommend that you push down on the filler twice to get a good fill. In fact, what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to bring some ink and pop that to the side here and just, we'll do a writing sample, but what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to simply dip, dip the uh, the pen in the ink. So we're not filling it, but just to, so you people can see the pen writing. So, so what we have here is a Schaefer and as we said this is the legacy number two as you can see this particular one is writing with a fine line a lovely writer as well there we go and what we'll do let's just give it another little dip there so as I say a lovely fine line very smooth to write with very comfortable as well um, again it's not maybe everybody's cup of tea because it's quite a well quite a large substantial pen but in my opinion very nice and comfortable to write with 
and again very smooth. So there's a writing sample. As I say we've not filled it, we've just simply dipped it in the ink to the side there. So let's pop the cap off cap on like that. Incidentally if I pop the cap on and just press there you go. I hope you could hear that. It actually snaps into into place. So there we have it. So what we've got here is a Schaefer Legacy 2, the M860, made in USA. Um, it's in this beautiful 23 karat gold electroplated brushed gold with 23 karat plated trim. And again, as we said earlier, you've got the lovely white dot to the top there. All in all, a very nice and quite a substantial pen. Very comfortable to hold and very comfortable to write with. Absolutely lovely. So, there we have it. The lovely Schaefer Legacy 2. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen. As always, as much as I enjoy showing them to you. I've got lots of other videos. Don't be shy. Go and have a look. Leave a comment. But for now, I'll just simply say, bye-bye now.